All right, guys, so we are back in the tractor cab today, getting a jump on things. So yesterday we mowed a couple fields. We're getting out as early as we can, tending those. I've already made one pass. So far, everything is going great, but today we're keeping an eye on that tire right there. You see how bald that one is? Most of the weight is on these middle tires because obviously, um, if you lift up each side, it's still on those tires. So the whole weight of the machine is basically on those, which means they wear out faster. And they are a pain in the you know what to change. The worst thing is to have to change one of those right in a field when you're right in the middle of trying to dry some stuff out. It is just not fun at all. So we're keeping an eye on that today, hoping it doesn't go flat. If it does, we'll have to run back real quick. We already have a tire for it. Um, we were just hoping that it would last out the rest of this year, which um, we may be shooting ourselves in the foot if we have to end up changing it sometime right in the middle of paying, but we're gonna go with it. We are parked in the shade right now because it is 80 degrees already today. It's Sunday right now, so we're working on the weekend, but there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. Um, the being a tractor, you guys know how much I love that, but if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Taylor, and I work on a dairy farm in Maine, and I make videos about that. It's me and my boss, Brent. Um, we're a dairy farm. We milk 70 cows. I've worked for him for almost nine years full time, um, but I've worked for him back when I was a teenager as well. So uh, about 11 years, almost 12 years all together. So I worked here for a very long time. Two or three years ago, I guess it is now, I decided to start making videos um, just because I thought everything that we were doing was really interesting and I thought other people might think that too. So here we are. And if you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That really does help us out a lot and helps us reach a lot more people. Anyway, I gotta get going because we only have two tractors right now. We have three all together. One of them is down right now. We can only rake with it. Um, the PTO is gone and that's a whole thing. We haven't gotten that straightened out yet. So Brent needs this tractor to mow after I'm done tedding with it. So we have to get going. All right, so we're gonna be going in first with the button on, which makes it slower. And we're gonna be rubbing it up to about 17 RPMs.
finished, I wanted to stop and show you guys the hay first, how it was looking. It's drying out pretty good. It should have plenty of time today. We might come out and tether it once again, maybe at like one or two o'clock. But I have got to get the Kubota back to Brent so that he can start mowing with it because we switched jobs today and I got tethering and he got mowing. And just like that, I get to go relax for the rest of the day. So it is the next morning. We've got the girls all inside. We're just getting ready to start milking. Brent went in to grab a quick cup of coffee. Before we get started, the cattle dealer just left. He comes every Monday. Um, we just chat with him and everything. Every once in a while, we'll sell him a cow, but not very often. So he came and left. Um, I wanted to introduce a cow to you guys before I forgot. So this morning we have this brown Swiss heifer, Addie. I call her a heifer, but she's actually had two calves. And she's shortbread with her third. <laughs> she's staring at me like she doesn't know what in the world to think of the camera. What's the matter, huh? She's camera shy. <laughs> so she is mostly brown swiss. She's like, she's kind of a weird combination. So her mother is three quarters brown swiss, quarter Holstein. And then her father would be a half brown swiss, half Jersey. So she's brown swiss, Holstein, Jersey. I actually raised her. She was born here. She's been here all her life. I raised her here. She is actually my cow. Her mother is my cow. Something about her is that her mom is the biggest cow in the barn. She weighs 1,700 pounds. She's a massive brown Swiss. She's actually black, coal black. Doesn't really look anything like a brown Swiss. Her daughter actually looks way more like a brown Swiss than she does. Um, and she's got less brown Swiss in her. So that's kind of confusing, but yeah, her mother is the biggest cow and she is full grown. I mean, she's not a small cow. Uh, I don't think I ever said how old she is. She's, I think she was born in 
20, I believe. Spring of 20, so she's four right now. Next spring, she will be five. And like I said, she's had two calves and she's shortbred with her third. She was just a really sweet first calf heifer. Um, put the machine on her for the first time and she didn't move at all. She's only kicked it off like maybe twice in her entire life. So she's a really sweet cow, but she does have that brown Swiss stubborn streak. If you're trying to make her do something she doesn't want to do, she's not going to do it. So that's Addie. She's a good girl. Before we get going, I wanted to show you guys um, all that worrying I did about the tether tire yesterday. Must have jinxed me because I was going around with the bale and roller last night and I heard a really loud bang and the last original tire on it exploded. So we've got to change that today. I'll take you guys out and show you that. See it's sitting kind of crooked. Still got some hay on it. But yeah, there she is. So that is... That tire is 22 years old, I believe. So, got lots of life out of it, but this one has been replaced before. So we gotta get that old tire off first thing this morning after we finish milking. Um, then we got lots of haying to do, so let's get into our crazy busy day. So it is a little bit later on in the day. Um, Brent actually ran to get the part for the button on the mowing machine so that we can flip that PTO shaft around. He went to get that, so I'm just waiting for him to come back. I went up and I tended all three fields that we've got down, um, two of which are going to be ready today. So when he gets back, we're gonna head out with the rakes. I've got the Kubota hooked up to the John Deere rake and he's got the International hooked up to the New Idea rake. Because the rakes are ground driven, we can still use the International to do that. But hopefully once we get that button for the yoke on the PTO, we'll be able to use it for mowing as well until we get the 540 shaft fixed. The cows are all out in their preferred grazing spot, at least in the afternoon, you can see. I don't know if you guys can tell, because the camera seems like things are farther away than they really are, but the shorthorn bull is actually walking that direction. And our bull, Neil, the Dutch belted, is right there. He's probably pretty easy to pick out. I think they like coming over here because there's some nice shade over here in the afternoon. I, I love watching cows graze. They always look so happy. They're just walking around, swishing their tails. Some of them are inside in the freestyle right now, eating the bales we put out this morning. Because some of them are lazy and prefer their food easier to eat. Got the barn all nicely bedded, so I'll get back to you guys when we get out raking. Alright guys, sorry about that. We've been out here raking for a while. I don't want to show too much of that because I know you guys have seen a lot of that lately, but um, Brent has been out here helping me, but he just left. He's taking the 1066 over to the field that we have over there. Just a small one. He's going to be raking that by himself because really I would just get in the way. Um, and I'm going to be finishing up the center of this one that we've been doing together. So we're almost done. We've got um, five rows so far and we're working on the sixth. I'm listening to another airplane crash. Quarter of two right now, so I don't think we're going to get everything failed today. It'll probably be one field or the other, but it's not really a huge deal. We'll just have to wait for the dew to get off it in the morning. And then we'll bail it after that, but let's get going to see what we can get done.
So it is finally the end of the day. Um, sorry about the bad lighting. It's really dark out. It's about seven o'clock, which is sad. It's getting dark at seven now, but the moon is really pretty. I gotta show you guys the moon. I just stopped to feed the heifers real quick. I just gave them some of that wrapped bale. I don't know if you guys can see it, if it really shows up, but I think tomorrow or the next night is a full moon. So that's really pretty. It's still like 70 degrees out. So I did want to go down and check on the heifers real quick. We had been buying them protein, like small protein tubs from Tractor Supply, but this time we went out and got them a Crystalix tub from our local feed place. They're 200 pound tubs. So we went and got them one of those four days ago. So I wanted to go down and just see how much of that they've eaten. I'm probably gonna have to use my flashlight because it's dark in here. I don't know if you guys can see it all. dark oh yeah you guys have eaten like a quarter of it huh you like it <laughs> just talking about it made him have to try right, hello oh everybody's so interested hi no don't be going upstairs <laughs> uh, i wish it was light so you guys could see them better but So we finished up everything that we had to bale today. We got 20 out of the big field. That would have been the second crop field. And then 10, um, both even numbers, which is always nice to have rounded numbers. 10 out of the third crop field that we did, the smaller one. Um, everything worked beautifully today, other than um, the hitch falling down on the rake and dragging some hay. But that was no biggie. A bat just flew over my head. Okay, that was creepy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna head home and get some rest. I'm coming down with a cold, so today has been exhausting for me. I think I'm gonna go to bed early just to be ready for tomorrow. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and comment down below. I forgot to mention that Brent did take that tire off the bale and roller while I was tedding. He took that off and took it to the repair shop. They said it would be about an hour, but they didn't get to it by the time he got back. So we gotta go pick that up tomorrow. They put a new tube in a new tire that Brent had um, just hanging around the shop. We were pretty much sure it was gonna blow, so we just had an extra one ready. So we gotta go pick that up sometime in between hang, but all that is for another day. So keep it real, keep farming, and hope you join us in the next video. Bye guys.